it can be hard to find the time and the budget to experiment in music. So when Timu reached out to do a video, I figured I would try to find the least expensive music gear on their site and try a couple, honestly, dumb things, but fun things that I never had the opportunity to try. I have a plan. I'm just not sure if it's going to work. All right, first step of my experiment. Here's a contact mic, usually used on acoustic instruments to pick up vibrations. It's got a quarter inch output. Let's connect it to a trumpet. If you don't know, I got my start playing trumpets, my first instrument I'm formally trained on. Miraculously, I can still play a note. It sounds fine, but let's attach the contact mic and try to hear what it sounds like. It's got almost like a French horn quality to it. I really like the timbre of this with the contact mic. We can also use the contact mic on some glass though and do some experimenting with liquids. Now I'm sampling all of this of course and I'm trying to get that classic tone that you can get out of a glass by using the rim. It's not working perfectly because I need to put the contact mic on the stem of the glass. And now, you can get these clean tones. This one almost sounds like a violin. Speaking of bowed instruments, I've always wanted to try bowing a guitar. I was working on the technique. It sounds fine on the six string, but if we grab that bass off the wall, this is a great bass drone. I also picked up an analog delay pedal. So I'm coupling that with the idea of our guitar and bass sounds. Let's go ahead and run the guitar through this cool analog delay pedal. I think this harmonic texture is gonna come in useful in a little bit. Now this horror movie sound immediately gave me an idea. Okay, we've got the delay pedal. That's got a quarter inch input. And if you remember, our contact mic has a quarter inch output. What if we connect that to the glass? And what if I didn't use my finger? What if I went ahead and got more glasses and more water? And what if we used the bow? my very own at home water phone. My neighbors love me. Okay, so step two, the fun isn't over. We've collected all these samples, but what are we gonna do with them? I'm gonna process them a bit, take out some problematic frequencies, add some reverb, play with the pitches, and try to get them all working together. The initial attempt was very much sounding like a horror movie score, which I think could actually work quite well, but it's not what I'm going for. I wanted a sweeter, more cinematic sound. So I worked with the sounds a little bit more, got the stems sounding a little bit more pleasant, a little less horror movie, and I bounced them out of live, and here comes step three. We've got a four track mixer here. And we've also got three MP3 players. These things were so cheap, I couldn't resist trying this idea. It's one I've had for a while. But what I've done is I've gone ahead and put the stems for this ambient track one stem on each player. So now we can mix these ambiences in live with each other. So now the mixing of these stems becomes a performance element. We still have one more input to play with on the mixer, of course. So why don't we go ahead and improvise with some guitar over the ambient soundscape. Now 
we've got this is soundscape comprised of trumpet, bowed guitar, guitar harmonics, all these really beautiful sounds. Running on these MP3 players, going through this mixer, in what I think is a pretty fun and out of the box way of putting together a live performance. It's a really fun experiment. Experiments like these aren't always practical, but with the prices on Timu, if you're looking to do something weird or fun, it's easy to do that with relatively low risk on a budget. I enjoyed my ambient sampling experiments, and I'd love to hear if you have fun, musical, experimental ideas that you'd like to try or suggestions for things you'd like to see me try here on this video, and maybe we can make a, a series out of this fun, weird musical experience. Let me know in the comments down below. As usual, make sure you subscribe to this channel, check out some of the videos you might have missed, give a like on your way out. Thank you to all my members, and thanks once again to Timu for sponsoring this video. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.